Question 8.1. Draw one line from each particle to the year it was discovered. Electron was discovered 1897 by J.G. Thompson. Neutron 1932 by Sir James Chadwick. Nucleus Ernest Rutherford 1911. Proton Ernest Rutherford 1920. 8.2. The nucleus was discovered using alpha particle scattering experiment. Alpha particles were directed at a sheet gold leaf, as shown in figure 8. Explain why alpha particle A takes the path in figure 8. Both the alpha particles and the gold nucleus have positive same charge, so the alpha particle and the gold nucleus repel each other. 8.3. Explain why the path of the alpha particle B is more tightly curved than the path of alpha particle C. If you look at the alpha particle B, you can see that's what they're talking about here compared to C which goes like that. The alpha particle B passes close to the nucleus so it's being repelled by the nucleus too so it experiences a stronger repulsive force due to electric field. 8.4 What can be deduced about the atom from the path taken by alpha particles D, E, F, G? in figure 8 this is the efg so jesus went straight there's nothing to repel them the atom is mostly empty space through 8.5 how is the Bohr model of the atom different from the nuclear model of the atom in the Bohr model the electrons orbit the nucleus at specific distance that specific distance which we call energy levels the nuclear model, the electrons can orbit at a continuum range of distance, so anywhere along, anywhere, there's no energy level basically. So that's the Bohr model and that's the nuclear model and that is the positive charge in the center, just one positive charge and electrons surrounded. 8.6. Explain how an electron can move up and down between energy levels in an atom. So here have we drawn the energy levels. Energy level 1, which is that one, and energy level 2, this one. So the electron will absorb photon, and photon has energy which is HF, and the electron will jump to the higher energy level. And coming down after a few seconds, the electron will come down, and when it comes down, it will emit another photon. So this process is emission of photon, and this is absorption of photons. So to move to a higher energy level, an electron absorbs energy from electromagnetic radiation, which we call photon. Two, to move to a lower energy level, an electron emits energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation, and that's emission.